Well, it just depends on, you know, what group I'm speaking to. Uh, if, I'm going to a, if I'm going to a church group, um, unless they've asked me to speak on something specifically, um, for me, I'm not a person that's going to have a whole bunch of notes up there or anything like that. Uh, my wife, she speaks publicly as well. She's going to have everything she's going to say on paper. For me, I'm going to have, you know, a bullet point here and a bullet point there just to remind me of where I'm going and, and you know, stories that I wanted to get to to intertwine with the message that I'm trying to, trying to say. Um, you, you know, a lot of times I want to talk to the people involved to hear, you know, okay, is this a reoccurring group that I'm going to speak to? What is, what's been the theme that they've been building upon for the year? Or is this a, is this a business opportunity, a, a corporate type of deal? Okay, what are you looking for? Are you looking for some, you know, encouragement for leaders or, or some team building stuff? So it all depends in terms of the preparation that goes into it that way. But for me, you know, a lot of my preparation is trying to, you know, take my, my introduction and grasp their attention and then, you know, touch on what, what my main point is going to be. And, you know, okay, what is my main message today? And that's how I'm preparing. And then once I have my main message, then I'm looking for stories and anecdotes that fit that message that's going to fit the group of people I'm talking to. And that kind of, you know, builds into my body. And then um, just, you know, again, depending on which kind of group you're speaking to, sometimes you want to leave, you know, uh, maybe an acronym or something with them. Uh, but then, you know, in conclusion, okay, what was the main point of my message again? Okay, and how can I re-illustrate that one more time maybe to encourage them as they leave to have something they grasp to take home with them.